G'day, Daniel Monday, back again with another little f- food tip. Uh, this time's regarding something I read in the newspaper this morning about fruit juice. Now, if you've heard me harp on before, you will know that this stuff is a must cut out of your diet if you ever want to lose weight. Now, it's all like, and I'll be the, the first one to put my hand up and say, for years, you used to drink gallons of the stuff, you used to have it for breakfast, you used to have it for dinner, you used to have it during the day when I wanted a drink, you used to have it all the time. But the thing that we don't, that it's only starting to come out now, and it's what this article is about, is a lot of parents are worried about actually giving their kids this stuff because the amount of sugar in it and the amount of rubbish that's in it, and they're 100% spot on. In fact, there was a survey that said 73% of adults are worrying that the fruit juice isn't the healthiest drink to give their kids. Spot on, there's actually some smart parents that are actually keen to do something for the positive health of their kid. Now, I wouldn't be feeding my kid, if I had a kid, I wouldn't be feeding this fruit juice all the time, especially not on a daily basis. Now, the reason why, the amount of rubbish that's in this stuff, okay, if you go to your fridge, take out some oranges, squeeze some juices freshly, give that to your kid, good as gold. The only thing you miss out on that is a bit of fiber compared to if you had the orange all by itself. Okay, but when you go and buy all the prepackaged rubbish from the supermarket that's got all the sugars, you look at the bloody ingredients on the thing. There's a list of ingredients as long as your arms, it's fruit, apart from the original fruit juice, there's water and all this now, and that's okay, of course, but there's all these other little additives and sugars and stuff that bulk it up, okay? Now, the reason for this little rant today is because you get some space get it from, the, what's it called, the Fruit Juice Australia Company, all right? And he's worried that the sales, and you know, the fruit juice has been copping a bad rap. Now, mate, pull your head in, and he says they're worried that they've been compared to soft drinks and sugar drinks, and that's why the sales are declining. Because they are, they're the same thing. They are a sometimes thing you wouldn't give your kid a glass of Coke every single day, and if you do, you really need to pull your head in and have a look at yourself. But you wouldn't give your kid a glass of, uh, of soft drink, all lemonade every single day. Why would you do it for fruit juice? It's the same sort of thing. Then, what tops this article off is you get this Space Cadet Nutritionist. Once again, see any of my other videos on rants on what I think of nutritionists. But she comes in and says, the research shows children and adults who include fruit juice regularly in their diet actually have a better diet quality. What sort of research is that? Now, if you manipulate enough criteria, you can prove anything. Because I drink red wine every week, I could, based on that criteria, I could then go and say, because I drink red wine, I'm not overweight. Because I drink red wine on the weekends, it means my skin's clear. Or whatever sort of ridiculous conclusion you want to draw. Take it as it is. Do not feed your kids fruit juice. Do not drink fruit juice for yourself, especially every day, if you want to lose weight. Daniel Monday ran over.